What's up guys, out of here, welcome back to another video on Madden 23, and today, I'm bringing you a video on how you can buy, was it five, five Campus Hero cards, and turn them, or for the same price as one, okay, and this is how you're going to do it, in the sets, the master sets for the Campus Heroes allows you to get all the cards that you put back into it as B and D. The cool thing about it is, is these master cards. Um, it's out of order, so let me try. To f let me find one here. Here we go. Crabtree. As you can see to the left, complete the set using five eighty-seven all uh, all conference players and retrieve or and receive one ninety Camp Heroes champion Michael Crabtree. All submitted players will return as. Uh, B and D. So you can't sell them, can't trade them, can't uh, put them in sets anymore after that. But the cool thing about it is this crab tree goes for about right at that 400k mark. So you're going to make about 350, 360 back um, from doing the set. And as you can see here, I'll go in my binder and I'll show you that I've already done this once and I'm about to do it again in this video um, just to get some more 87 cards in my lineup. Right, my highest card's an 89. That means I've sold that crab tree. But as you can see, I got uh, Joiner, uh, B and D, uh, Gwyn, or yeah, Quinn B and D, um, Zach Callens B and D, uh, Will Shields, and uh, Trevon Morig, all B and D. I put these five guys in and got the um, got the. Campus Hero and sold it. Same thing what I did with, as you can see, I have all of the 86 headliners. That's how I did that too. The headliner set was the same way. I completed it with these 86s, got the champion, and sold it. So, let me show you how to do it. All you need is five cards. Now, you want to be careful. You don't want to buy five of the same cards, even though it's the cheapest, right? Um, you don't want to do that um, to get this. You want to put the five cards you want. So, unfortunately, what I'm going to show you is not going to be the cheapest way. So, the cheapest way to do it is if you go to Program, Campus Heroes, go ahead and filter to 87s, and you're going to want to buy the five cheapest different cards. So, you would buy this Heinz for, let me let me pull up my calculator just to, just to get you guys the math completely correct. Um, and actually, we're going to search it even lower, because I know you can get it lower. So we'll just go to Offense here. Um, right. I'm actually going to pick this up, because this is the card I wanted to pick up. for. So 101,000 Corridans for Derek Mason here. So that's one of the cards I wanted to pick up. I'll put that in the calculator. 101,000. Again, all the cards I'm picking up aren't going to be the cheapest for you. So, right, you pick up Mason there. Maybe you want this Ingram as well. That's 105,000. Then, uh, uh, tie, let's wide receiver, another wide receiver. Say you want two wide receivers, 120 here for, um, LaVisca. And let's go defense and we'll pick the last two cards on there. And, 114 for this right outside linebacker, or 115, sorry. And the last one, because you need five, would be this left end Agba. And you can filter these down and get it for cheap, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure if I go to the left end here, it might be cheaper there. Maybe not. Alright, so 115k. That brings your total. If I would have bought those five cheapest different cards, it would have been 550,000 coins for me to get that. Now, that's a lot of coins. However, if you go and filter it down to 90, because that's where the champions are at. You're going to find the one that's the most. So Derek Johnson is 390, but Crabtree right now is at 400k. So you take 400k, subtract the 10% you're taking off, you're going to get 360k back. So 550 minus 360, you're left with only spending 200,000 coins, actually 190k, sorry, I'll be specific, 190k on five 87 overall cards, which some of the good ones actually go for 130, 140, 160k themselves, which is some of, them, some of them I'm going to pick up on here. So for essentially you're getting five 87 overalls for a total of 200,000 coins. So um, like I said, the cards I want, since I already have a handful already, 
these cards aren't going to be the cheapest. So I'm just doing it again, and I think I'm going to lose about, I think I'm going to use about 250 uh, for the co uh, coins for five of them, which again, for me, is awesome. That's like only buying two of the cheapest ones, right? So I'm basically getting four for the price of two if you want the little bit more of expensive ones. So I got the wide receiver I wanted, left tackle. I want to get the D tackle. Yep, Olsen. And then, so that's three. Again, he's 130. But like I said, if you have none of these, you might you might just want to pick up the cheap ones first to do the set. Well, who else was it? Uh, I don't need corners because I'm about to get the corner from the competitive pass and I'm about to get uh, from the field pass as well. I need one more level, I believe. 41. Um, already got Callens. What's the other person? Left tackle. Oh, I know I'm getting the fullback. And who was the last one here? So I started with 1,650,000. And I'll show you at the very end of the video what I ended up selling the champion for and how much we ended with. Um, what was the last one I needed? I don't need a quarterback. Got the wide receiver I wanted. Left tackle. I feel like some of my defense. I already have the safeties. I don't need the corner. I think it was the left outside linebacker, I believe. It was. Yeah, because I want uh, Shaquille, Shaquille Barrett. Perfect. So I got my my cards there. So I went from 1.65 mil all the way down to 1 million coins. So I six, spent 650. Once I sell this crab tree. I'm going to hit 350 back. So for me, this round is going to cost me three 300,000. But the first run I did, those first five that I showed you in my binder that are already B and D, I got for really, really cheap. Um, I think I got them all for about that 110 to 120 area. So it was really nice. And I only lost, you know, like that 150 to 200. So essentially, like I'm saying, with this method, you could essentially get all 87s by doing it this way um, for a lot cheaper. And we're just going to go straight redeem them because they should be all the ones we just got, making sure, yes it is. So we're going to get Crabtree here. It's going to go instantly into our binder. I'm going to list them up for 397000 And once he sells, we'll be good to go. And now I just got five more 87 overalls for the price of about one or two of them. Uh, in the game. So, if you guys have done this method yet, let me know. Um, if Let me know if you're going to try it out. And, let's crab tree here. We'll list them out. A7. Perfect. So, crab tree's up. I'll get 350 back for him. Or 360 around there. And I just add, I'm going to add these five more 87s to my squad. And that's basically how I've been building my uh, team up this year. Now I have 10 B and D 87s. I have, I think it's 10 or uh, 12 B and D 86s from the Headliners promo that I did this method on. Um, and everything else has just kind of been, you know, just throughout the throughout the pack openings. I have to sell some of these cards. Right, I just got the left tackle, so I can sell this 85. I have the right guard, 87 shields now. I'm going to sell this guard. I have a backup fullback with uh, Ricard here, so he's gone as well. You know what I mean? So doing this method frees up more coins as well. So I really, you know, doing this method this time, and there you go, he's already sold. I'm back up at 1.36 mil, almost 1.37 mil. So I spent about 300k. But, like I said, doing the math, if you have none of them in your binder and buying the cheapest... 87s through the promo, and you can even try to sit there and snipe some um, to get them even cheaper. Uh, you would only spend about 120 to 200k on getting five 87 overall cards uh, for the price of about one or two of them. So, if you guys enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.